Hi, welcome to the market alert uh, for Wednesday, 29th of May 2019. So, bonds and Bitcoin jump, stocks dump as yield curve carnage continues. Starting off with the Dow yesterday, I spoke about how uh, it was starting to look tired. Um, I didn't expect it to move this far so quickly, given there was no economic news. So it is starting to look like um, the volatility is going to return to this market. Uh, we closed below the 200 bar moving average yesterday, and this area here, the 25214, is crucial. What's uh, more interesting is that uh, if you look at uh, yesterday's range up until 735, uh, the market was in a normal range and then uh, all of a sudden it uh, went pear-shaped in the last uh, hour and a half. Uh, we can see here the market uh, sitting at uh, the R1 level from Friday. The market then closed below the 200 bar moving average. And this is what I was talking about before when the market uh, goes down, comes back and then bangs its head against the 200 bar. You can see we came back 76% uh, here as well. And then eventually the market uh, moved lower there. And we, we have a problem. Uh, and I've spoken about this before. And I'm just going to uh, just recap on this. We'll come back to the chart in just a moment. Uh, Morgan Stanley warns volatility is about to rise a lot. And I wouldn't uh, disagree with that. As I've just said, good article there about uh, the reasons behind why and certainly the inversion of the yield curve is uh, going to play a part as well also here we've got uh, s p futures tumble below key support as the aussie yield curve uh, also inverts as well so we're now starting to see an inversion of all of the, the yield curves and if we have a look at the reason why this is so important uh, this is the 10-year three-month spread. The three-month is uh, higher than the 10-year and it shouldn't be this way. It should be the other way. And uh, you can see uh, this is going back to uh, Friday of last week. It's, it's annoying because the, the Fred chart isn't updated uh, daily, which is uh, really odd. But what's important here is uh, this. Uh, if I can find uh, the... Uh, here we go, Max. And we've looked at this before, but it's very important to note that uh, you can get recessions when the yield curve doesn't invert. But if you have a look at this chart, you will see every time that it does invert, a recession follows. And given that uh, we've got a Ponzi scheme from 2008 where the global debt has just uh, been uh, jacked up um, hugely, uh, since this time, uh, something from it's, I think I think the figures were something like uh, 65 trillion to 245 trillion globally, and it goes without saying that at some point uh, the uh, the butcher has got to be paid, and that's what uh, we're seeing. So back to the the Dow chart, and if we go to the daily chart uh, once more, you can see that the 25. Uh, 214 area is crucial and if this is taken out I'm just going to switch to the weekly chart because it's a lot easier to see and we're just going to extend this over also watch uh, well that's the the one we're looking at in the uh, daily chart there but you can see that there's no problem in heading back down towards uh, that uh, December low when uh, Trump had a word with Powell and then the market reversed and came back but the all-time high hasn't been taken out on this occasion. And if you look at the monthly chart, you'll see where all of the other corrections, I've covered this before as well, from 2009 when we've had a pullback, the market has always made a new all-time high. And yet on this occasion, it has uh, failed to do so. You'll see there even through the 2015 carnage there, the market managed to put in a new all-time high. Then we had the correction uh, last year, sorry, in 2017, and uh, the market uh, managed to put in a uh, new all-time high there. And uh, then we've got this one through to December, but the market so far 
has failed to put in a new time a new all-time high so it's starting to look a bit uh, ominous here and as i say the backdrop to this is the yield curve inversion very important and you can't uh, see any of the mainstream media reporting on this for the obvious reasons so overnight the dow is uh, still struggling a bit so you can see it's moved lower and uh, attempting to move higher here so it's going to be very interesting as i say keep an eye on uh, this uh, today as uh, this market uh, attempts to try and move uh, higher and news today what have we got nothing there's no other news today uh, the other thing is of course uh, in the implied volatility uh, this increasing to uh, 16.26 over the uh, last 24 hours mm -hmm. and also keep an eye on uh, Deutsche Bank as well it had a low of uh, if we just come over to here uh, you'll see uh, managed just to hold at uh, the seven dollars per share uh, before the close uh, yesterday in New York watch this uh, area very important and also that uh, 640 if the market does break uh, seven dollars uh, a share meanwhile in uh, the pound I get the right chart uh, this uh, went short uh, yesterday and uh, still um, barely managed to get down to 20 uh, pips there and uh, bounced off this area but below the uh, 200 bar moving average and the DP at the moment Still uncertainty there. I think there's 11 candidates now for the UK uh, top job. Let's see how that pans out. Well, there's not uh, a lot happening in the pound. It's just uh, getting stuck in a bit of a, a sideways uh, move there. And uh, finally, in uh, Bitcoin, come to the daily chart, we can see that uh, the market is uh, showing some profit taking following that selling pressure up thrust. We've got the 76% retracement uh, marked up here and we'll see how the market uh, fares, see if it gets down to this level first before drawing in any further ones there. And in the four hour, the market's gone short and uh, yesterday in the 15 minute, uh, we had a uh, short there that traded down to the 200 bar moving average. It went sailed through, but they soon uh, brought this back and again, you can see here, oh, they soon brought it back to the DP level as well. And then we saw some more profit taking. And uh, this sort of volatility now, these biggish spikes, is indicating there's a bit of a battle going on. And there we see uh, at the moment the short side is winning at the moment. A bit of a buying coming into the market down here at the moment. But uh, below the 200 bar moving average and the DP, so looking uh, slightly weakish there at the moment for the Bitcoin market. Okay, that will do it for this one. Keep an eye on the pre-market uh, Dow or S&P, whichever you prefer. And also on the Deutsche Price uh, share as well as it's down at that $7 critical level, uh, psychological level as well for the market. So keep an eye on that also. And uh, yeah, let's see uh, if that uh, Dow can hold uh, the low that it put in uh, recently i just bring up this chart just to remind you the 25 214 level there keep an eye on this because if this is broken then uh, we're going to start looking at all of these other lows as the market uh, comes down and uh, could potentially by uh, july retest the december lows there okay that will do it for this one as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.